Sri Vazazev, they had down over the garments and uh, using rare freshwater clam shells from Lake Bondamir, almost as big as an ocean. Um, you know, they scraped the fine pollen off uh, and, um, and they put it carefully in this ninth century trunk with rubies, emeralds, and sapphires studded all over the outside. And even the hinges are made of lapis lazuli from Badakshan. Yeah, but good stuff, huh? Uh, and um, so I'm going to run this down because this is, this is like just a paragraph in a book. This is a prophecy fulfilled, so it's kind of formal. That the penultimate secret of the preservation of hashish, the mystery of the molding hashish, yeah, was transmitted from Omar, the dust master, uh, through his hermetic brother, Muzufa, in Kandahar, um, to Omar's successor and most aware disciple, Sphinx of Alexandria. And, uh, yeah, desert oasis, um, kind of. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mustafa says, it's time to have some fun, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he likes the amber chill. He shit everybody. <laughs> you know, with that, huh? And, um... Then, most of all, he goes back to that 19th century church. What's well, the only thing in the room? If you're blind, you'd find it easily. Um, pulls out a common white, uh, just, I mean, you get it in the kind of Har Bazaar. It's a female Tudor dress. Tudor means the veil trip. Uh, uh, to wear back to the Han without camels of Peace Ollie. He's his modern generation, as a disguise. Wear this. That way nobody can, nobody can remember that you came here. You re retrace your steps uh, incognito-ishly. Oh, um, yeah, no one will see the Connect Thrashing Dome and you and Ollie, okay? So, uh, yeah, Sphinx obeys humbly. You know, um, obediently, submissively. Oh, those with me with that stock, huh, Musaba? <laughs> yeah, Bahram Jabchut, Mahmoud Sticks. <sighs> yeah. The four hashish masters, at least in their own minds, um, yeah, they, they walked back to the edge of this huge arena uh, for dogfighters, huh? And uh, because um, they're going to stay here and just have fun for a few hours, you know, throw some money around, gamble, mm-hmm, you know. You know, they've helped raise some of these dogs themselves. This is a bulk, bulk pit crew over here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and yeah, the, the Patans, then they're off, ooh, off to Kabul. Mazari Sharif, hello. Hang a left, balk 20 kilometers down the road. Okay. Um, and what are they transporting? Another body. That first Omar, right now. Mm -hmm. Another body who's just not somebody. Lisa Baker, Lubbock, Texas, 22. Um, neither dead nor alive. Yeah, I mean, but so intensely stimulating. It's just like, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, spectral image, white sex slave. Mm -hmm. uh, bare skin rug. <laughs> um, and 
abundant breaths, more ripening. Just hang it out. Like the warming melons in season. Musk <laughs> melons along the banks of the Helmet River. <laughs> Oh, alone now. Oh, Sphinx shield his eyes from the dog fight. Oh, oh, bloody, oh, barbaric. Oh, he whispers to himself, I'm not into suffering. <laughs> well, uh, beneath the veil, he's covered head to toe. Um, he balances himself. I mean, this is, now he's appreciating what the women do all the time. He's balancing himself along those narrow, that one, irrigation dried out, muddy ditches. You either trip over them or you walk over them, like on a railroad track. So you keep track of where the hell you're going in the first place. Um, the complete disguise. <laughs> yeah. So he's cautiously, though. Does anybody know where he's been? <laughs> Secret here, huh? Uh, into the Grand Bazaar. Oh, and strolls like a woman. Down Barbara Lane. Oh, and uh, oh, the Oxiana Bakery and Tea House. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, close, uh, completely closed, huh? Mm -hmm. um, severely shuttered. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Aladdin, yeah, he's a goner. He's. He, he's softly snoring in the most recessive, coolest, backest room on the other side of the trap door. Uh-huh. He's gone for the day. Uh, yo. Oh. Excessive voyeurism. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Finally, I can... <laughs> Witness reality a little bit once in a while. Just the ration of it goes a long way. Yeah. Oh. 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 Sphinx. Zombar doesn't get it. See him either. Passes unnoticed. Oh, there's Zombar playing, uh, playing Man on the Mountain with his hook again. Oh, you're good, 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 good. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, but Sphinx, yeah, he's unfamiliar. It's like, it'd be like a, somebody told me to wear, like, spike heels and go to the police station. It would be really... Um, yeah, uh, and he's glancing upwards, see? Mm -hmm. Mistake here. Watch watch what the fuck you're doing. Uh, he runs right into a frail old blind woman. Baton old thing, huh? Uh, nearly knocking her down. Well, they both recover from the collision. Not too much fuzz. Oh, Sphinx, sorry. I picks up her cane and um, apologizes. Well, she's cheerfully off on her way. Oh, that much Sphinx, huh? He dreamily re-enters the Earthistan World Headquarters. That's where he crashes. Overlooking the trail of Hashishan. Ecstatic in his body cells to have unveiled just the mystery of the molding hashish. Yeah, his lifelong dream fulfilled. So what does he do next? 